So what I decided to do is, um, was to take a bunch of children that lived on the street outside my rugby club and three times a week I started teaching them how to play rugby. Um, and at the weekends what I also did was take these same children and we took them up to the mountains and we take a, a bunch of other, other younger children as well up to the mountains and we'd give them an outdoor experience um, which would involve you know, walking in the hills or, 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 or kayaking down rivers etc. So really taking them out of their environments um, and that's why we got the name Magic Bus. We identified Magic Bus for our World Young Leaders Forum in Mumbai and we saw it inspired a lot of people. We invited Matthew Spacey to Germany uh, and brought him together with our German community, opened a lot of doors. And we are completely surprised how quickly that uh, magic ball, uh, magic bus ball is running now in Germany. All the cliche stuff you hear about sport, about you know, increasing your, your uh, discipline or your self-esteem, all those sorts of things started unfolding in front of me. We took initially, um, I took about 30 young men. We have 150,000 children now in the program, but interestingly of the 30 boys that I started with, um, 20 of those boys now still work for Magic Bus. So they've been, they've been with us um, now for, for 11 years. In fact, one of the boys now runs our daily office. So, you know, it's really been a, a, a magnificent journey for, for me and for them. The big genesis for us was that, that I actually, they actually started understanding that they could change their own lives. For that first initial five year period, um, I engaged a, tr a lot of academics, um, a lot of uh, development experts, sports experts, and we started building programs um, that could address specific issues. So we would create games and sports that would address, for example, child marriage or um, attendance in school or substance abuse. The need in, in India, obviously, for, for, for a program like Magic Bus is obviously, is, is, is obviously enormous. In India, there are 400 million people living on less than a dollar a day. What we've been very successful at doing is actually getting local community buy-in, training young people within the communities who then own the program. And then they go and use our program in ways that we never even thought were possible. One very successful area that, that I think that has allowed us to scale very quickly has been our ability to sell to the government and let them see the benefits of Magic Bus. We have a mandate with all, any new office we open is that within three years um, of opening that office, that office has to be financially self-sustainable and that, that sustenance will only come from support in the local community. What often organizations forget to do is they work very closely with the marginalized communities, you know, the, the poor and the impoverished, and they often forget to inform or to include the broader um, uh, middle class, upper class communities. Young people um, are more willing to get involved than perhaps, uh, perhaps the, the next generation up. Um, I think there's a, a greater awareness of youth generally and, and probably globally that, that you know, hang on, this isn't right. It's, it's not right that there are in Bombay 12 million people living in the slums. We also want to use and to take the knowledge of Magic Bus to inspire German uh, educational work and empowering of young people and using the social business model as well as the using sports for empowering. We try to build up also a, a knowledge link, a peer learning group between square kilometer education in Altmoabit here in Berlin and I think it's really inspiring to have these good practice examples like uh, Magic Bus and square kilometer education. So in India you have, in Bombay, you have how many people Where I see Magic Buses, I think it has, is, having, is having an enormous impact in India. You know, we have already a statement where we feel that in four years we'll be with a million children. What I don't want Magic Bus to be is about, about me, about the founder. What's probably more, the most significant issue in my life at the moment is about institutionalizing Magic Bus, making sure that we have a strong line of succession. I think the BMW Foundation um, partnership with Magic Bus is, 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 
is incredibly important for us. What we've done successfully together is, you know, is, is start to understand some of the issues that Magic Bus are dealing with in, you know, in the slums of Mumbai, and that's been our, our first interaction. Um, so we're looking at volunteer programs with the staff. Um, we're looking at, as I said, leveraging some of the expertise that they have as a corporation. Um, and, and hopefully, what one of the very interesting things we're looking at is also some some men, some peer exchange programs as well. So you know, we Magic Bus has some fantastic leaders, as does BMW, and seeing whether we can create a really good learning environment for some of our leaders who've you know who've come from absolute uh, adversity, you know, and, and talking to some of the BMW leaders who you know have also had different challenges. And seeing putting these two groups together and 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 and, and running some very I think some very uh, interesting programs together. I certainly work harder now than I've ever worked before um, in the corporate sector. I think I'm far more driven. Um, I understand that what I do has the ability um, to impact potentially millions of lives and I think that really drives me. What, what really surprised me um, and increasingly does as, as Magic Bus grows and grows and grows is the amount of people around me that want me to win and want Magic Bus to win. We are committed in the long term and we hope that it, uh, it will help to scale up well done, these things to make it bigger and to connect and to bond our Young Leaders Network uh, to such best practice organizations. Namaste! Namaste! Namaste. Namaste.